गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन आई एम बैक विद माई ऑनलाइन लेक्चर इज दी लेक्चर नंबर सिक्स एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट दी मार्जिनल रेट ऑफ ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन सो दिस इज द लिस्ट ऑफ कॉन्टेंट इफ यू सी द इंट्रोडक्शन पार्ट देन विल बी डीलिंग विद द डेफिनेशन एंड देन विल बी इन अदर नेम Uh, by which MRT is known as. Then there will be the explanation part. Then what is the relationship between MRT, that is marginal rate of transformation, and PPF, which is production possibility frontier. There will be calculation, little discussion over the calculation of MRT, and then there will be graphical representation of the same. So to start with the introduction, we all know that the resources or the inputs. Which are being used are very scarce in nature, and they are so limited in supply. So, in order to produce one good, another good, or we can say some extra units or the marginal units of one good, another good has to be sacrificed. So, here the marginal rate of transformation is the rate at which one good must be sacrificed in order to produce. A single extra unit, or which we can call as marginal unit of another good. Here we are assuming that both goods require the same scarce inputs. There is another name by which we know this marginal rate of transformation, which is opportunity cost. So we need to know what is opportunity cost. So this opportunity cost refers to a benefit that a person could have received. But gave up. Why? Because to take another course of action. So, like it can be defined also as an opportunity cost represent an alternative given up when a decision is made. Like you have chosen an option, and when you have chosen that option, what you are going to sacrifice is your opportunity cost. If we uh, evaluate that sacrifice in terms of cost or price. then that becomes or that economically is known as the opportunity cost now a little of explanation part this marginal rate of transformation is tied to the production possibility frontier which is known as ppf in short form and this ppf is uh, displays the output potential for two goods which are using the same resources so to produce more of one good means producing less of another of course because the resources are being efficiently allocated and the reason being there is scarce supply of course so in other words if we say resources used to produce one goods are diverted from from one uh, from the other good which means less of the other good will be produced so this trade off is measured by the marginal rate of transformation so the marginal rate of transformation which is mrt between two goods if we take an example of two goods like one is x and another is y then it can be defined as the number of units of good x that will be forgone in order to produce an extra unit of y while keeping constant the use of production factors and of course the technology so these are the assumptions where we are keeping both of these factors constant and then we are evaluating that how much we need to sacrifice one good to producing the another and this mrt tells us the rate of the sacrifice of that one good to produce the another one moving ahead so now what is the relationship between mrt and ppf so here we see mrt is the absolute value of the slope of production possibility frontier or ppf so for each point on the frontier which is a curved line there is a different marginal rate of transformation based on the economics of producing each product individually all right so this uh, these mrts combine to form this ppf curve so this is the relationship between mrt and ppf 
if we come over now the formula part then we can see that here you can see the formula which is in the form of deriv 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 derivative I'm sorry which is in the form of derivative here the x and y are the two goods so here we can see that MRT shows the ratio that how many units of good x have to have to be stopped by, uh, for being produced in order to produce an extra unit of good y where we keep the use of production factor and technology being used as constant so this is how it can be calculated now the graphical representation part here this there is one situation uh, which is the graphical representation part one here you can see this curve this is the PPF curve or the production possibility frontier curve in this case there is substitution which is on the increasing rate that is MRT here will change as per the slope of the PPF giving it the concave to the origin shape why because it shows the diminishing rate of the variable factor because the increase in y leads to the decline in x that is it shows that how we are actually producing an extra unit of y by sacrificing one unit of x and so here the law of diminishing marginal returns to the variable factor is operating and that is why there is this shape of this PPF curve. Now the second part of the graphical representation which shows another situation where these two goods are perfect substitutes for one another. Here MRT will be equal to 1 throughout and that is how the slope has an angle of 45 degree now why is this so because when considering different substitute goods substitute goods are those goods which can be here where one good can be substituted perfectly for the another good so here the slope will be different and MRT can be defined as a fraction such as 1 is to 2 1 is to 3 and so on everywhere the value of MRT will be equal to 1 so here for substitute goods the MRT will remain constant which is equal to 1 and that is why there is this kind of curve which you can see which is making a 45 degree angle from the origin. So these are these were actually the two situations where it depend on the kind of production technique and the nature of production we were using for producing these goods keeping the two factors constant which is the input and the technology that is how this PPF took shape depending over the nature of MRT or the value of MRT these are a few sources are used thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and there is a link given below for that